I'm Dawn Darusa. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Style. Today we're doing something really basic, and that's why I have jeans on and a nice, cute little blazer and something simple. And we're doing a chicken piccata style over uh, just some greens and some nice risotto cakes with some peas in them, which should be delicious. My style today is really casual and the meal is a really casual one. It's kind of one that you can serve. A nice Friday night dinner outfit, like I said, is a cute little blazer, a little tank top. As you can see, I did a nice wide leg denim jean with this, which I think is really perfect. Casual risotto cake is, it's that style, simple, elegant style, classic, nothing too crazy, but perfect. So, to get started, we have water boiling in the back, and I'm going to throw in a half a cup of the Arborio rice. You can see what this looks like. I'm doing a half a cup, so I'm going to keep it a smaller recipe. And the water is already boiling, and rather than doing the same um, double cups of water, which would be a cup of water to the rice and letting it cook down and continually adding chicken stock, I'm not going to be doing that. What I'm doing is I have a, quart, a couple quarts of water boiling already, and this is just going to cook for 20 minutes. And so I'm going to show you the chicken. What we're going to do is I actually put the rice on a nice light, low heat for 20 minutes. I don't want it too boiling. So that's ready to go. And the chicken cutlets are just pound them lightly between some saran wrap and get them nice and thin so they're good for cooking a piccata with. And I just dampen them off with a paper towel so they're not really really wet after I wash them. You should always wash your chicken chicken if you don't. Um, so it's a nice chicken cutlet. I'm going to put it in my dipping pan and what I have in here is a little bit of flour, parsley, and some salt just for some seasoning. And this is just going to get breaded really lightly. It's not a um, heavy coating at all of the flour. This is basically just to give it a nice little crust in the pan when we pan fry it. And you'll see it comes out so nice and crispy and delicious. I use a mix in the pan of a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter to give it a nice flavor. So you'll see, it's just a nice little coating. If you dipped this in egg or anything like that, it would be a really thick coating on the chicken. So you just want it to be a nice light coating on there. So as my pan is heating up, I just put a little bit of butter and a nice, make sure the whole bottom of the pan has the butter and the oil in it just to give it a coating so that way they fry really nicely. It has a nice little coating of olive oil and butter in there. And you can use a vegetable oil. The vegetable oil cooks it at a higher temperature, so that is okay and actually is usually better for frying. I'm just trying to give it a little bit of extra flavor. I'm also going to, once we fry this, all the bottom of the pan, once it gets a little bit of crispy and the bits on the bottom, we're going to uh, deglaze that to make the sauce for this. We're going to put the cutlets in and let them fry up really nicely. Okay, so in my bowl, I'm just whipping up the little mixture. I'm going to bring the risotto cakes together to make them combine really nicely. Using two eggs and sour cream, about a half a cup of sour cream. You could use yogurt too, which works really nicely to combine them, bring them together really nicely. Some Parmesan cheese. Now this is a variation you can do fontina. You can really do a different variation of them, just like you could do a different variation of the different bracelets that you're wearing or the different chain necklaces that you're wearing to change up your outfit and give it a different style. We're doing the same thing with food. We're bringing in different elements and you can switch them up as much as you want. I'm using a Parmesan cheese, but you can use any sort of cheese that you really feel comfortable with and that you like. I'm also adding some very fresh, in my garden, parsley, which I love. I'm just breaking it up. I'm not uh, doing anything. It's kind of like a rough chop. I don't mind the bigger pieces in mixed in with it. I think it makes the flavor really come out. And they're a little bit bigger and the parsley really shows up and it's a nice pop of color. We're really looking for that aesthetic when, when you're cooking too. You don't want it to just be about, you know, just the food. You want it to look pretty. You want it to look nice. Growing on a pair of clothes, you want them to look good. You want them ironed. You want them taken care of. You want to do the same thing with your food. You want to prepare it that it's not just for getting done quickly eating it, but you want it to look really pretty and the colors and all the flavors blend and come together really, really nicely. So we have them all combined. I'm just gonna whip it really quickly. And I'm just gonna use some lemon zest. Also drastically brings the flavors out immensely in the cheese, in the part from the parsley, everything. The lemon zest is wonderful, wonderful accompaniment to it. 
I'd say about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of the zest. Fresh parsley has a really nice flavor, fresh taste, and that's what we're really looking for to bring out those flavors. Some salt and pepper. I did salt the water in the rice, so it has a slight seasoning to it already, so we don't need a lot of salt. One last little mix. And I took the rice out of the water from boiling. We're just going to combine it. And then we're going to let this sit in the refrigerator for about a half hour just because we want this to really get to a nice firm consistency so we can make them into cakes. We'll combine the rice. I'm just going to pop this in the refrigerator, let this chill for a little bit. So the chicken is out, all nice and browned. And we have our pan on a low heat. And what we're going to do is deglaze it just a little bit. There really isn't a lot in there to deglaze. You can see it's just a little bit enough to get some flavor. So what we're going to do to deglaze it is add a little bit of white wine. Here's sure wine that you like to drink. And that sizzle is what... And some fresh squeezed lemon juice. That will cook up. You can now raise the flame a little bit. Because you want to bring this to a boil. You want it to bubble up a little bit and really reduce down so that way the strong alcohol flavor isn't there from the wine and the lemon flavor is a little bit lighter. You can also add chicken broth to this as well as if, if you would like. I'm just keeping it really simple because I want a strong more concentrated flavor so I'm just doing the white wine and the lemon juice. This is a variation. I know there's a lot of different ways to make piccata and different styles and everything. This is just the way I, I like it. It's kind of like my take on, on, a, on a piccata. I'm adding some parsley. Again, I'm leaving the bits of parsley a little bit bigger. I'm just breaking them off the stems pretty much and cutting them up and throwing them in. I like them bigger. I just like the way they look. They look pretty. And finally, capers. The most important element of this little dish are the capers. So we're just going to add those in. Now remember, these are salty, so you don't want to over salt anything too much because these are very, very salty. And I, oh, I added about a tablespoon of these to that. Oh, it's glazing very nicely. So, they're ready to go. And now we're just going to give them a, a nice light breading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them in clean hands. I'm just going to take, oh, it's cold, a little bit. Now, it's going to be a little bit wet, so you want to be very gentle with how you make these. And you're just going to form them into just a little patty. Give them a dip in your breadcrumb. And that's, that's the patty. We have our risotto cakes in the pan, frying up really nicely. I flipped a few so you can see that they are nice and golden. And that's what you're looking for, that nice golden color. And we'll flip the other few in a, in a few minutes, and they should be good to go. All right, we're all set. I made a, a fresh little bed of lettuce, just some mixed greens, clean. I made a little dressing, little olive oil, Dijon mustard, and lemon for a flavor on top of the salad. Our little cake. I'm just going to pour some dressing. And our chicken, all ready to go. I poured the sauce over it, so it's all done with the capers. And it looks absolutely delicious. So, let's try it. Cut into my rice cake and get a little bit of lettuce on there. Mm. Delicious. The cake has a nice crisp to it. The outer edge is really delicious. You can taste the cheese coming through really nicely. And the freshness of the lettuce, the coolness of the lettuce is really nice against the hot cake. Let's try the chicken. This is my favorite. This is one of my favorite chickens to have. So I'm excited. Parsley with that and some of the sauce, of course. And let's see how it is. The lemon and the capers come together so nicely. A nice little coating on top of flour is delicious. Perfect accompaniment to this. Now you could do this as a lunch and just have the risotto cake and lettuce as a simple little lunch. Adding the chicken makes it a nice classic dinner with a really nice casual outfit. Great for when friends come over. I hope you guys enjoy it too. Have a great night. Bye.